heart heart is a hollow muscular organ it is a very important organ for life let us see why as you can see this is a multi story building in this building water needs to be pushed from the ground to its top most floors for this an electric water pump is used it pumps the water with pressure to all the floors of the building in a human body the heart acts like an electric pump it pushes the blood with pressure to all the parts of the body now let us see how does the heart work the heart can be divided into two parts the left side of the heart which is here in red color deals with oxygenated blood which contains more amount of oxygen and less amount of carbon dioxide the right part of the heart here in blue color deals with deoxygenated blood which contains comparatively more amount of carbon dioxide and less amount of oxygen internally the heart is divided into four different rooms said to be four chambers the upper right side of the heart is called as the right auricle or right atrium the lower right side of the heart is said to be the right ventricle the upper left side of the heart is called the left atrium or left auricle and the lower left side of the heart is called the left ventricle so these are the four chambers of the heart now let us see the how the blood enters and leaves the heart the two blood vessels called the superior or anterior vena cava and the inferior or posterior vena cava brings the deoxygenated blood from all the parts of the body into the right atrium between the right atrium and right ventricle there is a presence of a valve which acts like a door which is called the tricuspid valve as the atria will contract the valve will open and the blood will now travel from the right atrium to the right ventricle from the right ventricle the deoxy blood will enter another blood vessel called as the pulmonary artery and from the pulmonary artery the blood will enter the lungs for purification in lungs the deoxygenated blood is purified to oxygenated blood and now the oxygenated blood will come back to the heart through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium between the left atrium and the left ventricle again there is a presence of a valve called the bicuspid valve as the atria will contract the valve will open and the oxygenated blood will now travel from the left atrium to the left ventricle and finally when the left ventricle contracts it pumps the oxygenated blood with pressure to a largest artery called as the aorta and from aorta the oxygenated blood reaches each and every part of the body now let us see how the heart pumps when the heart pumps the deoxygenated and the oxygenated blood simultaneously enters the right atrium and the left atrium both the atria contract together and the blood from the right atria enters the right ventricle and the blood from the left atria enters the left ventricle now both the ventricles contract together and the blood from the right ventricle enters the pulmonary artery and the blood from the left ventricle enters the aorta again let us see how does it work
and this is the way how our heart continuously pumps and we feel heartbeat if you find my video informative please click the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you